Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs again. Today we're back with a video tutorials in which we demonstrate the newest features included on the last version of Studio One 5.5. So today we're going to learn a new feature that lets you create a strumming pattern uh, using in the piano roll in Studio One. So think about strumming patterns, okay? When you're strumming a guitar, um, you know, your left hand is doing the chord and then your right hand is strumming. Now, when you hit the chord, you don't really hit all notes at the same time. You hit string by string, one by one. That gives you a little bit of delay between one string and the other because you hit one string, then the next one, then the next one, and so on and so forth. So there's a little space, there's a little gap in between hitting each of the strings. That gives you a sense of human feel. Okay, same thing when you play the piano. When you play, let's say, a triad, um, you don't really play all three fingers at the exact same, th same time. There's a little bit of delay between them. Even though you try to be as, you know, as tight as possible in your performance, there's always a little bit of time in between each finger to hit the note. That is something that is hard to recreate when we program electronic music because we're literally just programming it with the little pencil in the piano roll and it just happens at the same time. It's perfect. Like, for example, here... I have this synthesizer and I have program a chord here that if you hear it, it just starts perfectly. You see, all three notes happen at the same time. Now let's say that I wanted to turn this into more of a strumming pattern. So I wanted to create space in between the notes. I could click and drag each of the notes to do that or I could use this new feature. Okay, so in order to do this, we have to select all three notes. And if you hold Control and Alt, while you hold Control and Alt, you can click and drag any of the notes and check what happens. You see that space that's getting created? Well, in that case, um, it's creating space in between the notes to create that strumming uh, feel. And it's doing it because it, it, it's actually snapping into a grid. I can turn that off. Okay. Um, and repeat the same, and that's kind of like free floating, okay? So you basically click and drag the last note, or conversely, the first note, and it'll create space in between them. Like, if you see here, it created some space between the first and the second note, and then some space or some delay between the second and third. The first one, it doesn't even touch it. So if you press play now, you have that strumming effect. Now you can make it less obvious by doing just a little bit. And when you press play, okay, it sounds way better. It sounds more human. Definitely more human than just that, you know? So you can go ahead and, you know, experiment with that. When you're on the piano, you can either drag the last note, which is the highest of the chord, or the other way around, which is dragging and, and clicking and dragging on the first note, which is the lowest. So it'll sound like that. So that's how you create a strumming pattern in your piano roll in Studio One 5.5. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We'll see you soon, bye-bye. Wanna learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.